Hi, I'm Steve Stedman, and welcome to this short video on moving SQL Server data files. What we're going to do here is we have on my E drive, on my, this is my desktop, and I'm having to replace a hard drive, so I need to move a couple of files off the E drive, and where I want to place them is on the C drive. This would be in the location C SQL 2019 data. This is totally backwards from what you usually want to do because you, you usually don't want to have your database files in your C drive. But because this is my development environment and not an actual real production database, I'm going to do this temporarily while I change out a hard drive. When that's done, I will move them back over to the other drive. Start with, I've got Quick Scan Archive and Quick Scan History, two databases I want to deal with here. And before doing the move, what I want to do is just look at the properties here and look at the exact file locations as they exist today. I will make this a little bit bigger. It's in the E drive and the C drive on SQL 2019 data. Uh, and I'm just going to do a, a quick screen capture on that so that I can, uh, in case I forget, I can remember that later because once I detach them, I'm not going to have that around. I uh, know where to put them or where to move them from. So, but we know it's coming from the D drive. It's going to the C drive. So what I'm going to start by doing here is detaching the Quick Scan Archive. Right click in Management Studio, go to Tasks, Detach, and what Detach is going to do is it's going to drop all the connections, and then one of the options is to update statistics. But I'm not too worried about this because I'm going to be updating it bring it back on. So I'm just going to say drop connections. If you don't drop the connections and there's a connection open to that database, what's going to happen is it's going to wait until all connections are dropped or time out before it actually detaches that database. And then uh, usually when I do this, I'm going to script it just to review what it's going to do. So I'm just going to set single user with rollback immediate. That's what's kicking out uh, all the users. And then we're actually, it's odd that it's extra use masters in here, so we'll just delete those. We're going to use the database, then throw out all the other users who are currently connected, then use master, and then we're going to detach the database. If I delayed this for a while between doing the dropping of the single user, uh, which drops the user connections, there's a chance someone else could get back in. So we're just going to run this in one move. We do that, we go over to this side, and we can see that. The quick scan archive is gone. Quick scan history is still there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go back to our data files and we're moving quick scan archive from here. And I'm just going to say move. Uh, normally, to be safe, I would copy it, but in this case, it's a small database that I can rebuild if I need to. So I'm just going to move it. Now that it's been moved, we need to reattach. So what I'm going to do is right click and again here I'm going to the list of databases right click attach we're going to add the data file which is quick scan archive right here and what it defaults down to is that it defaults to expect the log file the LDF to be in the same directory and if you don't adjust this it'll go create a new empty one that it'll start using, but we don't want to do that. We want to actually change this LDF file, which quick scan archive.ldf. As usual, I will script this and we can see what it's doing. It's reattaching it on the C drive. We run the script, we refresh over here under databases, and we can see the quick scan archive database is back. We'll look at properties and we can now see that the files are both on the C drive. Again, not a best practice to do them on the C drive, but I'm just doing this while I replace my, D, my E drive temp for a few minutes. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the process again for quick scan history. I'm going to look at the properties, look at the files. We can see that it's the same two directories that were there before on the other database. I will then tasks and then detach this database, drop the user connections, script it so I can see what it looks like before doing it. Don't need those extra there. So we're just going to use the database, drop all the other users, switch over to master, and then detach the quick scan history database. Let that run. It's done. Now we're going to go and move that file from the E drive back over to the C drive.
And again, I would have normally copied it just to be safe, but because I'm getting rid of the other drive, I'm just going to move it. Now we can go and hit Databases, Attach, go Browse, Find, not in the Logs directory, but in... Well, here, we'll scroll down. In the Data directory, we'll go get the Quick Scan History, not the Archive this time. Hit OK goes out, it scans that, and it says, hey, here's where the log file should be, but it's not. It's looking in the data directory, so we're going to go back up and quick scan history log, and then we just hit the script button and review that. Looks good. Hit execute, run the script, and we're all done. Now those files have been moved off of this other drive that I need to remove, and then after I replace that disk, I can come back later and put the files back into the system.